Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study the minimum vertex cover problem. Now, the vertex cover of a graph is the set of vertices which cover all the edges in that graph. Now, what do we mean by covering an edge? This means that at least one of the vertices of that edge should be included in the vertex cover. Now, by the minimum vertex cover, I mean the minimum set of vertices that cover all the edges in that graph. Now, finding the minimum vertex cover in a graph is an NP-complete problem. Hence, any solution that we come up for this particular problem is going to be computationally expensive. In this video, we're going to look at a simple brute force solution to this particular problem. So let's look at this solution. So first, what we assume is that the vertex cover consists of all the vertices in the graph. Now, if you consider all the vertices in the graph, of course, you're going to cover all the edges in that graph. That's our current best. So we initialize the current best with the entire vertex list. Now we are going to consider every possible subset of vertices of this graph. Now, if any possible subset, say S, is a vertex cover, then we'll try and see if we can update the current best. And we're going to iterate through this process until we have exhausted all the subsets of V. At the very end, we are going to return the current best. Okay, so let's see how this algorithm works with an example. The first subset that we consider only contains the vertex 0. Now vertex 0 only covers these two edges between 0 and 3 and 0 and 2. Hence, it is not the vertex cover. Next, we consider only vertex 1. It also does not cover all the edges. Hence, it is not a vertex cover. Next, we consider this particular subset consisting of the vertices 0 and 1. Let's see if it covers all the edges. It does not. So we now move on to another subset. This subset only includes the vertex 2. As you can see, it does not cover all the edges. Consider another subset which consists of 0 and 2. This also does not cover all the edges. Then we consider 2 and 1. The same result, then we consider 0, 2, and 1. We'll see that this particular combination covers all the vertices in this graph. Hence, we are going to update the current best. Now, the current best or the optimal solution that we have at the moment will include the vertex cover, which is which comprises of the vertices 0, 1, and 2. And that's what we are denoting with this opt. Now we are going to try another subset which consists only of the vertex 3. Of course, this does not work and it does not cover all the vertices. So we move on, try another subset that does not work as well. And we are going to keep doing this process uh, till we exhaust all the subsets of this particular graph. And we will see that so far, none of the other options that we have tried cover all the vertices. And playing this, now we come to this particular subset consisting of 2, 3, and 1. We'll see that it covers all the, the vertices or covers all the edges in this particular graph. But do we need to update the current best? The answer is no. This is a valid vertex cover, but the vertex cover that we have is also of size 3, and this one is also of size 3. So it's no better than the one that we already have. So we don't update it and we move on and try another option by trying all the different options and we can just go quickly through all these options we'll see that none of them are better than the solution that we have so i'm just going to fast forward and finally when we get to the final stages of this algorithm what we will see is that the best vertex cover that we have consists of only 0 1 and 2 and that is the minimum vertex cover for this particular graph. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and watch the rest of the videos in the playlist. Thank you.